Hello YouTube, right, um, now, I thought I'd show you this. This is a nine element uh, Yagi. Now I'm just gonna move it out of the way. I've got a lot of room in the shed. It's actually a length of our little garden shed, which is a bit weird. So basically, if I can hold it, I'll just put it like that so you can see. It's got nine elements, so, this is the uh, directing element, so that's the directing element, sorry. So you've got a PL259 at the top there, look. Yeah, yeah. Directing element, reflecting element, and then you've got nine elements from here, so that's one down to nine at decreasing lengths. Now it's actually two meters long. Um, and it's the reason it's two meters long because you need it to get the gain. It's supposed to have a gain of nine ten dB. Uh, this is on PMR four four six. Now, obviously, being two meters long, it's a tad long, isn't it? So what I've had to do, if I can actually get this thing back into the where I was holding it, I've had to put a joint, and to make sure the joint is straight. I've put two pieces of the rod and glued them in position, you see that? So when these are aligned up, then I know the elements are straight. The thread's a bit wonky because there's a bolt in there, an aridite and a long thread. But when you twist it, it actually straightens up. So that's, once you get that like that, it'll be absolutely fine. Um, obviously the elements have to be straight, otherwise it's not going to work properly. So this is basically like a TV aerial. Um, in case you wondered, uh, obviously a TV error receives. Uh, a TV error will actually transmit as well, but depends on what your frequency is. Um, as we don't have um, mobile radios at TV picture frequency, which would be ridiculous anyway, we have to adjust this uh, to suit uh, PMR446, which is license free. So what I intend to do is... Um, go out somewhere on a motorway bridge or somewhere high up and see how far I can get with it. I've got a friend of mine who's got a, another walkie-talkie and he's gonna, I'm going to give him the heads up before I do it. Uh, I've done six, seven miles on a hill, which is probably achievable with a normal aerial, to be honest with you. But this is very directive. It's very direct in beam. So you've only got to move it slightly left or right and you'll lose the signal. That's the principle of a Yagi. All the energy is concentrated at the end uh, in like a sort of like a, a very thin, long balloon shape. Whereas, obviously, if you've got a single stick aerial, use this as an analogy, if that was on top of your uh, walkie talkie, uh, the, the energy is only directional. This isn't, this is very directional. And the principle is. The longer it is, the more elements you have. The more elements you have, the more direction you have, the more energy you have, and the further it'll go. That's basically the principle. Um, but I think two meters is about the limit, because even with the uh, uh, join, it's still a bit too long. Right, so I hope you enjoyed my crude video. So I will try and post one with the audio of the transmission and receiver, see how far I can get. But that's for another day, I think. All right, thanks for watching.